I have a new item to show you that I just found. It is a robot vacuum and it is made by Romba. They were the first ones to make these type of uh, little vacuum cleaners. Um, so let's, uh, let's take a look at the box over here. iRobot Romba. The model number of this particular one is the Romba 664. Here it is, and it's in a really nice uh, black, simple black design, so it'll go with uh, any any type of uh, interior. You can see here's a close-up of it, and uh, you can have it programmed so it'll go on automatically, or you can just do it manually by turning it on to have it go ahead and start cleaning. And underneath, Here's the underneath part of it, and what seemed to really impress me pretty well on this was uh, this area here. It had a pretty big brush system, and then you have, this is more like these rubbery things. These are sweeps that help pick things up, really fine stuff, and then it rolls here, and then it takes it into the cleaner, so it takes it off the floor and into the vacuum cleaner. And it has the wheels that are adjustable so that it can handle going from, say, a carpet surface down to a flat surface like a tile floor. This part over here is what picks up little things along the sides of the wall. So that's nice. And then it brings it into here. So when it picks it up, then it brings it down into here. You know, wheels to help change direction on it. And then that's the area, the dustbin area for it here. Um, let's take a look inside of it. Actually here you just pull it out. Some of the other ones it flips up. I think this actually is probably a better design that it pulls out. And then the dust bin, that's easy to then, it's like a little filter, which I'm sure pulls out. Flips like that. Oh, okay, that makes that easy. See that? And then the dust bin, well that pulls out. And then, and then you can empty it out, and then when you're done, then that slides back in, and that goes like that. And you go ahead and push it up to here, and slide it in, and then that's ready to go. So, um, yeah, this is different, because every other one, there's a thing that flips up. I think this is a little better, because the little flip-up ones sometimes look like they could break. Um, all right, well, I guess now let's uh, try it out. Let's see how well it can uh, pick up dirt and stuff. I laid down some dirt, plus I know there's some cat hair and stuff on the floor, so there should be stuff for it to pick up. There we go. Yeah, picking up that dirt. Yeah. It's going over there in the corner. And now it's coming back. pretty fast. This seems like one thing I'm noticing is when it comes to an edge it's recovering a lot faster than some of the cheaper ones I've had that really struggle when they get to an obstacle. This seems to be doing a lot better. Yeah, look at that. So this is picking up good. Yeah, look down. Yeah. Oh yeah. Like when it hits that edge it's not sitting there kind of trying to struggle to turn around. It's it turns and it's off and it's ready to go, so wow. Yeah! We're gonna pick it up that dirt! And the cats are like, whoa, they're just wanting to see that. Wow, now I can see why everybody loves these things. I mean, they get really good reviews. I'm seeing why. See, look, see, it's really fast. I've had other ones that will get hung up at a part, like when it gets to an area like that. See that? They'll just sit there and just do nothing. Not, oh, wow. Look at that. Pick up that big dirt. Yeah. And it's recovering really well. I've got a lot of quartz laying around, but it's doing fine. Wow. Oh, I'm loving this. Yeah. Look at that. 
There's no way my other robots could be able to handle that little top corner there. They always get hung up. <laughs> yeah! Oh my god, this is so fantastic vacuum. Still waiting for it to get that one area in the middle. Yeah, just picking up some big pieces of dirt I know I have over there. Let's see. Yeah, pick that up. Well, it's coming back over here. Yeah, wow, look at that. That little thing that spins around it. Swooshed around and picked up this big piece and just took it right in the vacuum. This did really good. Um, let's go ahead and open it up. Let's see how well it did. Oh my God. Oh, this is heavy, too. Woo! <laughs> oh, my gosh. It picked up all those big pieces. Every time it went over the tissue I laid out, and uh, that's a whole bunch of kitty hair. And, you know, I didn't even see all this on the carpeting. This is amazing. I already vacuumed earlier today with my regular, um, regular vacuum. So I know that I did that area, but... This seemed to pick up stuff that, well, I guess underneath the tables and stuff, maybe that. I don't know what, but it picked up stuff, my other vacuum, when I vacuumed not more than an hour ago, did not pick up. So let's open this up. Wow. Look at all that. Oh my God. This is all, it's all from this kitty right here. <laughs> See that Greg? He's, he's a big shutter. I forgot to mention the little d charging docking station and when it goes to here, I don't have it plugged in right now, when this runs low on power it will return back to the docking station and then it will charge and this is how it charges. So if you have it on a schedule, whenever it's set to go and start cleaning it will go and clean and then go and return back to this guy here. Um, but this, this, this is a fantastic vacuum. Well, overall, I'm really, really pleased with this uh, robot, uh, iRobot from Ramba. Uh, I've tried some other ones, and this one does a really, really good job. I think what impresses me the most is like the quality of it. It seems to be better than some of the other ones I've tried. Uh, does really good on the suction power, and... Uh, and yeah, I'm really glad I got it. I like it. If you like this video, feel free to hit subscribe. And let me know your thoughts in the comments. Bye.